Hello everyone, welcome back to the Star Sector Let's Play series, I guess. Um, last time we went on a bounty mission, or we went to go collect a bounty, and we collected it. We got 20,000 credits, which is pretty darn nice. Uh, now there's a bounty on Tuzak. I suppose we should go after that one as well. Um, might need some more stuff though, we can stop on this place on the way to the gate. Why are there two gates out there? Weird. All right, whatever. Yeah, because we only have nine supplies left, and we took a pretty harsh beating in the last fight, but uh, actually survived. Which <laughs> we got really lucky. Fighting two wolf frigates uh, at the same time, along with a uh, buffalo mark two thing. Is there a crown to it? Okay, yeah, there is. We don't want to go that way. It actually increases our supply use per day. It makes sense. Like, you don't want to have a ship sitting in there. Oh. Identified fleet. They're pursuing me. Are they sure they want to do that? Nope. Are they going to come in and help? That'd be nice. They're actually gonna run away now because they're helping. That's funny. All right, uh, this one's faster, but it's also a D class, so that means I can catch up with it. Now it seems pretty damaged too. So uh, auto. Oh, you should not come up in my face. But you're stupid. Yep. Goodbye. He's just gonna get swarmed by missiles. Yeah, he's immediately dead. How unfortunate. Now let me board you. Oh my gosh, they're gonna let me board you. Wait, what? Ten life signs on board. You have two marines available. According to simulations run by the gamma level AI, a boarding operation would have a zero percent chance of success. Really? Do I need like five marines to go against ten life signs? I guess 10 versus 2. I mean, it's not a very even battle. Ah, <sighs> fine. Just blow it up. Big disappointment. Oh well. They weren't even there. Like, it should take them a while to get to that. Holy cow, they just appeared out of nowhere. Uh, here. wow, that's only. Crap, that's actually really cheap. I am tempted to go try to do some trading here. Holy crap, these are cheap too. Dang that. For these guys, oh, that's kind of expensive. Take three of those. I don't want to fill this up. I actually want to see how much we can uh, make off of that. Wait, let's first how much see how this is. Yeah. Yeah. 27, it's about 3,000. So we've got 30. Okay. I have a bit of supplies left, but that's okay. Alright. Maybe we can sell it at a decent price. At a better price. Uh, on Sindria or something. Alright. Over that way is where the bounty is, and we we can stop by at Corvus along the way. See if there's anything, uh, maybe it'll sell for better there. I actually don't know. Does it say anything? All right, so we just bought 27 for 109 after the tariff. Seventy-five after the tariff. Angala. So yeah, I think we have to go to Sindri if we want to sell this, or we can find somewhere else to sell it. But uh, uh, we've got enough. We've got enough uh, fuel to get there. 
Maybe we should have bought some more supplies at that place. There are only 60 credits per thing. Plus a little extra from the tariff, but oh well. Uh, we, let me make our way back to Duzok and see if we can handle that bounty. We can resupply it to uh, Andrea. With all the dogs barking. There he is. Okay. Andrea, let's head on over. Oh, stay out of Corona. Really don't want to mess in there. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Very hard for Snell. Really? We can't sell it there yet. I guess, uh,. Oh, well, maybe there's another mining planet somewhere else that we can go to. How much is the... Okay, it's not that much. 16 should keep us alive for a while. Um, do any of these planets need it? I think they do. We'll take a look. Uh, do we know, sir? No. Okay. Sheriff's on selling is just ridiculous. It's hard to make a profit. What's with the dog? Come on. Water world. Do they need organized crime? Organics mining complex. Still, we've got plenty of those. Okay. That's unfortunate. It's a gas giant, so there's not, not going to be anything there. Rocky, unstable world. Do they have what they need? Wow, really? It's a mining complex and it requires heavy machinery. They don't have hardly any. It doesn't look like they have any problem with. Is there, is there a way to prices? <laughs> Heavy machinery. Unusual prices at Volturn. Machinery price increase. Decreased. Look prices and switch to the map for details. What map? This is a map. Oh, this map. Oh. Holy snap. Goes for two for there. Corpus on Shangala. Pirate A, which is the pirates. And I think I'm uh, not in a good position to go pirates. I don't know. I probably could try with my transponder off. Oh. Okay. Well, let's try it anyway. And if we get caught, well, we can always pay whoever to be like, no, you don't have to worry about anything from us. Uh, we'll wait a while before we turn off the transponder because... I wonder if there's like a cooldown on turning it on or something. that off. 
Or shut down initiated. Oh, okay. Fade. Okay. Cool. It's military. So that's uh, about a 4,000 profit if we sell it with the tariffs. And tariffs is... Th 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 I don't care. These are pirates. I'm going to go to the black market and get a lot more. Thank you. Cool. That's a 10,000 profit. That's pretty sweet. Holy crap. Supplies are expensive as crap. Could sell them for a lot and then go and pick up some more at Sindria. Field goes for quite a bit. Marines sell for quite a lot. Oof. Let's go to the intel. How much do. Um, it doesn't show prices for stuff. It's supplies. On Cruor. Let's sell the our supplies then to these stupid uh, pirates. We'll keep three, and we can use this to get. Well, we sold eleven, got that much. Okay, see you guys. And we'll go to Pruer. It's over there. We'll go to Sindria first, since it's on the way. There we go. Yeah, you have to use it twice to turn it on. That's kind of weird. Huh, <laughs> trade experience. Yay! We got 11 for about... or 3,000 for 11. And I'm pretty sure we can get a lot more for less. How much do they sell it here? 89? How much is 11? It's only 1,000. So that's pretty sweet. Um, it says crew or less expensive. Or did it? 80 on Crewer. It's freaking 20 over at the Ragnar complex. Holy cow. It's 80 over there. 89. Um, I'd rather go to Crewer to buy it. I mean, supply per day doesn't really go down that fast, so we can uh, spend definitely spend the time going over there. Cloud ring, dust ring, opus ring. There you are. So uh, I really like how that map and the prices uh, work out now, so it's a lot more clear. They don't... Okay, so on the black market then. Alright, whatever. I don't know if I want to risk turning off my transponder with all these guys around, so we'll just trade on the black market openly. About half the price, we'll get 18 bar. Not bad. Alright. No one saw us. We weren't here. Okay. Now. Bounties, uh, let's see. Sethlen, Cuddle, our activity, still nearby ish. 900 August 2nd. For how long? 45 days. 50 days. So well, that's still in. Place. Oh no, that's in. Oh wait, yeah, Jazak. There's Dima. We'll go to Jazak then. We have plenty of fuel for that. We're making a decent bit of money so far, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh. These guys need help. Oh, it's a ludic path. I hate these guys. We're gonna go after them. We're gonna help 
these guys out. We'll save you, don't worry. Maybe. We've actually got quite a few guys on now. So I, uh... Oh no. Holy cow, that shit's taking a beating. That one's almost dead. either. Wait, no, aim at this thing. Oh, wow, this is a mistake. Jeez, and or underestimated these guys' strength. That's ridiculous. How fast are they? That's not even fair. Top speed 200 plus 90? What? Where did, where's my ship? This is my ship, right? Yeah. Where did that crap did they get those fast ships? That's so dumb. <sighs> that it How are their ships so darn fast? Seven thousand <sighs> Okay, I shouldn't have gone into that fight. Get a civilian. Ooh, we can get a combat freighter. Could also get a hound A class. I mean it's better? Holy crap it is. Oh yeah, A class. So it's got more top speed. 18 more top speed, more flux dispatch and flux capacity. It's got A or it's a hundred more armor reading than normal. Wow. Friggin' expensive though. It's got a pretty good cargo capacity. I've already got a, I've got a hundred cargo capacity, so I could go more into trading if I wanted to. Uh, there's a lot more crew too, though. Did I lose all of my? I did. Things are a little cheaper than normal here, though. At least. Could get a combat freighter. Priors, a skeleton crew of 40, though. I don't really have enough money. And it's in D class, so it's worse than normal. Go for that. And I think I want to go for this. It's only a skeleton crew of 10. More cart capacity is nice, and having an extra ship to help out, and one that's an A class, especially. Yeah, um, I think that's too good of an offer. I'm going to buy that. Um, I'm gonna need 10 more crew, that's fine, so it's actually 5 over, so that's okay. Uh, refit, we don't have, okay, this does have weapons, it's got that light assault, Vulcan cannon, or light auto, why does it have a light auto cannon? It's not point defense. I have a, what? Oh, it's in the market, I don't I would have Vulcan. I'll just leave it as that is. This will probably be our main ship. It won't let me buy this without being black market. I don't like that. These guys just not have it. Oh, it's because I don't ha I don't have access to their military, so I only get the crappy weapons. And well, the ARP list is pretty crappy, honestly. Yeah. Uh, fine, I'll buy the black market. Hopefully they won't hate me for it. Uh, we can just do the light machine gun. Militarized Hegemony Auxiliary? This ship is or was on a Hegemony Auxiliary list. Its core systems have been upgraded to military standards. Up armor kits applied to hit by Hegemony Naval Armorers resulting in no loss of performance and a rigorous schedule of servicing enforced in anticipation of the ship being pressed into military service during emergencies. Shielded cargo holds. Commonly found on ships that can't rely on shields to protect their cargo from cosmic radiation. Only a few tweaks are needed to have the shielding confound 
long-range cargo scans, both reducing the probability of contraband being detected by customs inspections and the apparent value of the cargo for toll assessment. This has the same thing. That's interesting. Safety overrides. Definitely want blast doors, hardened subsystem. I'd like that too. Vents go up. And flux capacity. Actually, we can for that and upgrade. Yeah, that's good. Okay. How to do the weapon groups? Let's run a simulation then. Ah, you do against one of these. Dang, I have this thing is fast. That's crazy. on this is so darn low though. Uh, it's got a high amount of armor but yeah with no missiles it's gonna be hard and nothing to like deal with shields. That's the problem with this thing is it can't deal with um, ships that have shields. Of course that's a problem too. Just gonna run away. I'll try to redo the simulation. What? How does it pair up against another of its own? Probably worse. It'll probably be better because it's the uh, upgraded version. Come here, you. goes down a lot faster. Okay, we got him. Of course, we also kind of got destroyed. We don't, there's, there's nothing we can like grab a shield for though. We don't have any officers. So I will be in command of this ship, and some of, like nobody can be in command of that one, I guess. Kill. Uh, I definitely want some marines. All right. While well, we're back on our feet or ship, somewhat. Not really how I wanted it to go, but uh, ended up with two ships in the end, so I guess it's okay, even though our credits have completely vanished. But that will be the end of this episode, so thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you'll enjoy the next one if you continue to watch. We'll see you then.